And what we're going to show here is the uh, virtual service router serving new markets in a very rapid way. So traditionally, if you want to serve a new market that's not on your network footprint, it's going to take you a little while to get equipment installed and delivered and, and up and running. What we're going to show today is for that to happen in a very, very quick way using the virtualized service router, which is a network function uh, delivered using NFV um, on top of the, uh, the Nokia ecosystem. So as you see on the screen here, we've got the network map for our uh, current network set up and, and running. And we're simulating a demand in a new country. Uh, you can see we're running uh, 18 gig of traffic through. And what we're going to do now is create this router. And you'll see nothing is coming out the other side. There is no router at the moment. So there's a demand in the country, but no device to serve that demand. So what we're going to do is flick over to the Nokia NSP product and create onto our network a brand new provider edge router. So to serve layer two and layer three services right at the edge of your network for true telco carrier networks. So we select the, uh, the virtual service router. We select the uh, servers we're going to put it onto. And then we'll give it a name. We want it to appear in our administration tool. So we select a discovery rule and we give it an IP address. And it really is as simple as that. So we now have everything we need. We can change the software version. Uh, we have everything we need to deploy this router onto our live network. So previously this would have taken you weeks or months to, to get the equipment delivered and installed. And now we can deploy it straight away onto our network. You see our system here is already saying deploying. And we're seeing on our OpenStack environment. That our virtual machines are being created. And the virtualized service router that's being created consists of three virtualized service components. So a data path virtual machine and two control path virtual machines to give you hardware and software resiliency across multiple servers. And you see they are already running. And as we go to our network map, you will see the network element is going to appear automatically on this map and become joined into the network. As you see, the router has now appeared on the network map and it's yellow as it's being discovered. Soon it will go green and then join itself into the network map so a completely dynamic network topology within the NSP product set, managing both hardware and software devices uh, at the same time. So side by side, for an operational perspective, it's really, really simple to operate. Your operations teams are going to see hardware and software elements acting and feeling exactly the same within the NSP tool. And now as we go over to where we had our demand, we see that traffic is now beginning to flow through this device that didn't exist before. So our new market is now served Customers can now get access to the network and to services on top of this. So that is the virtualized service router. As you see, it's really quick and really easy to deploy, um, very, very fast to get onto new markets quickly and start serving new customers to realize that the benefits as soon as possible.